Just like our next weather forecast help you prepare for what's next, our next weather investigations dig into problems and solutions caused by climate change. We learned we spend close to $100 million every year to clear snow and ice from Minnesota roads. Seems like a lot, right? From giant plows and maintenance to de-icing material and labor, all of that adds up. But there is a way to cut down on costs, crashes, and the impact on the environment. I took a drive 90 minutes west of the cities to learn that all it takes is some collaboration from Minnesota landowners across the state. Pass along Highway 212 in Bird Island, Minnesota, and you'll see Vern Prokosh's place. You put it up there? Well, well not physically. <laughs> I told somebody what to do. A hard to miss roadside attraction that's popular with parents and their little ones in the back seat. We have some people that come from Wisconsin that drive by here a couple times a year, and they said that we just wait for the kids, just wait for the smiling barn. But what those travelers may not know is that there's something else in his yard keeping them safer on the roads. So this particular highway experiences about 4,300 cars a day. At this particular site here in Vern site, there used to be two big snow drifts that form on either side of his building site here. This is a living snow fence, a wall of trees, bushes, grasses, and wildflowers that blocks blowing snow from the highway. Front ones are plums, plum brush. Vern at some point was growing corn out here, but here's how it works. The state came in and paid for the land, and then a combination of state and federal dollars paid for all the trees, bushes, shrubs, and flowers that are here now. The state, of course, also now maintains the land. What the intent is, is to manage the wind. The amount of snow that gets carried by the wind can be 100 times greater than the amount that just falls from the sky. Snow fences can look like this or this. From natural elements to rows of unharvested corn to plastic barriers, it all depends on the site, and MnDOT says they work. Here's a look at a stretch of I-94 westbound near Moorhead with snow fencing. MnDOT says the winds were blowing 30 miles an hour on this day. Now, a look at the highway where the snow fencing ends. Look at those drifts on the right shoulder. This video shows two-foot drifts on that highway without protection. As you can imagine, snow fencing cuts down on crashes. We find that if we're on a curve, the snow fencing can reduce the crash severity by about 40%. Of course, MnDOT saves money and resources plowing less, but all of this is also positive for the environment. Living fences like this one sequester carbon and provide great nesting habitat for wildlife. They also cut down on the chemical treatments we use on the roads. We're trying to reduce our chloride use, and chlorides are tied to salt. So the snow fences help keep the road warmer so that the salt's more effective. So you can use less salt that way. Some snow fencing is on state property, but a lot of it is on private property, a network of nearly 350 landowners across the state. Gullickson says some landowners have reservations about the program because it does require space on their property, but he wants to stress landowners are compensated and they try to be creative to come up with solutions together. We have found that the public safety and mobility is what really drives landowners to do this, more so than the, the financial part of it. They want their roads clear. They want their roads clear. Vern says it's made a difference. We used to get a lot of company from people that got stalled in here, but now we don't have as much company as we used to have. People knocking on the door and needing a, <laughs> yeah. needing a push or something. Right. His neighbors sure appreciate it. Our neighbor here thinks it's a great project because he, he doesn't hardly get any snow in his yard anymore. Maybe it even helped you on a trip along Highway 212 and you didn't even realize it. Well, it's, it's doing what we wanted it to do. It's helped to keep cars driving through. And if you have a problem area near your home, MnDOT says it never hurts to reach out to them. They are looking to collaborate with more landowners, so they'll be able to work with you um, to see if a snow fence would even be helpful in your area.